Our bonus will include admin layout, moving platform, fixes, vents, outside of the ship, and some shoutouts. Hello, yes. Welcome to the bonus part of the airship map in Minecraft tutorial to screw it. Part 5 is not even going to get to 300 views. So why not release part 6 now since my channel has been doing really well recently. Okay, so the block you really need will not block, which the only thing you will really need is an uh, empty map. And Okay, why did I just do that? Okay, but other than that, the really thing you need is an empty map. So you just got to go around some areas to get some... Uh, uh, pictures of the map and okay maybe that might look good and okay what if I go up here so basically the whole idea is basically just to take uh, both sides ignore what I'm doing go to both sides of the map and like the left side or the right side instead of going from the tops like I'm doing um, just don't do that because <clears throat> I already did something on my old map and that won't probably work on this because it's pro so close to my first one, and of course you guys saw that I'm doing an outside. So after that, I just put the maps on. <clears throat> yeah, the struggles I deal with. Oh yeah, that's, and I'm currently working on an outside, which it'll be kind of hard to do a tutorial for that. But just place down your maps and place down one there. And oh wow, that is so off. But you get the whole idea. I'm not going to waste y'all's time on this, so just... Trying to make it seem as equal as possible, unlike how I did it. So, yeah. Okay, so the next blocks we're gonna need are item frame, iron bar, iron bars, sorry, painting, and a stone button. So this is a fix in the cockpit. So just basically just delete the things with the uh, great, extra great concrete and iron trap doors, cause just remove those, place them with item frames and iron bars inside of them, facing to the side. And this is going to make for a new keywords. I thought you could not do this, but turns out that you can. Uh, you should have known that earlier. So, uh, yeah. So and then for this last one, we're just going to replace this with an extra painting. I'm going to just place some temporary blocks around. Any temporary blocks of your choice. Make sure your painting looks different. Uh, of course, iron frames with uh, iron bars. For our next blocks, we're gonna need glass paint, gray concrete, and white concrete, just in case if you mess up. So just take down these poles of right here, these two, and ignore the third one I'm about to do, since then I'll realize that. I should have left it there, so that was actually right. So actually place your, uh, what do you call it, white concrete back, uh, bring that up again, and I don't know why I left that there so then bring it over by one place a gray concrete line just right there then come over one to right here with another gray concrete line and take out your glass panes and basically just break out this whole middle and just fill it in with glass panes so you should have a little something like this okay so the next fix we're gonna need our block of iron uh stone brick walls, I don't know why I got andesite, and then smooth court stairs. So according to TEF Productions 2 and Flame Boss 221's Discord server, ventilation, this side of ventilation here, the cargo bay is brought down by one. So bring down this, this whole thing by one, just take out all this and just do the exact same thing, but just bring this whole staircase down again by one. And of course, for the actual thing in ventilation that platform thingy so basically also bring this whole side down not the shower side but this whole thing down also down by one also you don't have to place barriers by the uh, blackstone walls because walls can already hold you up uh, enough for a moving platform in the gap room we're gonna need a uh, honey block uh honey block piston sticky piston white concrete up city i mean observer redstone lamp and any button of your choice so come to this very yellow concrete right here. No, actually not right there. No, we're gonna bring this by this obsidian over by four. So one, that's already two. Then three. Okay, no, 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 no. I was right about the uh, yellow. Uh, so bring this thing over by four. One, two, three, four. Just like this. And now we're gonna take out a piston and face it out this way. Nope, that's actually wrong. Bring out the piston to right here. So now once your piston is actually brought out to there, take any temporary block of your choice and then get your observer and face it down just right here. Not where the 
Yeah, just like that. Make sure the arrow is facing down just like that. Now we're going to take our observer, face it to this side just like that. And now we're going to take our sticky piston and bring four more honey blocks over. So one, two, two, three, four, just like that. Take out our sticky pistons just like that. Oops. Now take out our observers, face it in just like that. Take out our pistons, face it out like that. Of course, the, is that right? Is that okay? Yeah, that is right. I had no idea why I did that. Now a temporary block again, just like this, and of course face it down just like that. And I'm not gonna waste y'all's time watching me failing to do this. Wait, oh, actually, I did fail to do that. So now once we're done with that, take out our white concrete and just place some white concrete on there. Now we're gonna take out our redstone lamps. Bring it up to there, just like that. We're gonna break out these blocks right here. I'm gonna place bring it over to right here make and it already stop because it's obsidian and obsidian stops uh honey blocks so yeah actually place the redstone lamps on there and i did something wrong here so i'm not gonna waste y'all's time by doing this so if you guys can find a way to make it work that'd be great and i figured out what i actually did wrong so okay so Actually, don't do that and bring, break out the obsidian blocks that are right by the yellow concrete and actually bring up this whole platform up by one. And for the outside, there's really nothing too much. If you really want to do it, just change all out of the room cappings with red terracotta instead of the original cappings. It already is right now, just to make it seem like the airship and maybe you can make a roof with red terracotta and sea lantern style at the place. But now, yeah. And the last thing is the vents, which this was forever take me to teach you guys. But for the first vents is the cockpit, vault, and viewing deck. That is not a triangle vent because once you go into the vault, you can only vent to the cockpit. And then both ways, you can vent there. From the kitchen, engine room, and main hall is all a triangle, so you can connect those. Same for the gap room. And then for records, lounge... I mean, records, showers, and cargo bay. Records is a one-way vent. Only showers and cargo bay connect. Records takes you to those places, and once you vent through re records to one of those rooms, you can't go back, and that's what one-way means, in case none of you know what one-way means. So, uh, yeah, and if you don't want to do the walkways, use command blocks to teleport you to the uh, rooms that you're venting to. So, uh, yeah. And the full airship is complete. Please, please make sure to subscribe, because I will have a lot of Java Minecraft things in the future, which will make my videos much more high quality than... Same bedrock that I've been doing. So yeah, yeah, new project with Flame Boss 221 coming soon. We are working on our own custom Polis map, so stay tuned for that. And please consider subscribing. Soon, me and the world to me because I spent a lot of time working on the airship. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.